In the last talk through, I showed how we can use jQuery to find elements in a web page and then do something to them. Sometimes we actually use jQuery to find out things about the elements, like what text is currently inside them. And that's what I'll show here. Currently, this line of code completely replaces the main heading text. Now, what if instead of replacing that text completely, we wanted to surround the existing headline with exclamation marks? Well, let's just do that. The first thing we want to find out is what is currently inside that heading. And we want to store that inside a variable. So heading text equals, and then I'm going to call the jQuery function, pass in that selector main heading, and then call the text function empty parentheses. All right, now when we call text on a jQuery object, it returns the inner text of all of the selected elements. This line of code only happens to select one element, but if it had selected multiple elements, then it would return all of the text of all of the selected elements in one long string. Now, good thing to do is to console.log this value to see what it contains heading text. All right, so now pause the talk through and open your developer console to see the value for yourself. Do, 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 do. All right, so now, now that we know what the text is, let's set the text to that text, but with exclamation marks. So we're going to use jQuery again to find the heading, then use that text function, and this time, we're going to pass in some exclamation marks. Good, we got those. And then we're going to concatenate that with that variable we found. Aha, we've got our title back. And then more exclamation marks. Very nice. We now have a more excited version of our original title. And we were only able to do that because we found out what that heading originally contained. Now notice, we are using the same method to set the text as to get the text. The difference is that we passed it zero arguments when we wanted it to return the text, and we passed it one argument when we wanted it to change the text. You will see that a lot in jQuery, the same function behaving different ways depending on what you pass into it. So pay careful attention to the parameters that you pass in. Now there are other things you can find out about the elements on your page too like their size, CSS styles, lots more. And it'll get pretty useful later. It may not seem obvious how it's useful now, but later when we do more manipulation based on what you find out, it'll be super useful. So file this away in your jQuery toolbox.